Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nobe, and I'm here just to update you on the Constitutional Court judgment which ordered the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti, and his Director General, Livuani Makote, to meet uh, the legal costs of a case involving uh, migrants and illegal immigrants in South Africa. Uh, as you know, or as you heard yesterday, we posted that the Constitutional Court had ordered Dr. Mtsualeti and Director General Makoti to pay from their own pockets some of the legal costs incurred by lawyers for human rights for their appalling conduct in a case concerning the rights of undocumented migrants in South Africa. The minister was ordered to pay 10% and Makote the, to pay 25% for their culpability uh, in the shambles. Now, the Minister of Home Affairs has released a statement uh, dated 1 November, that is on Wednesday, uh, stating that um, he accepts and respects the judgment and order of the highest court in the land in ex parte, Minister of Home Affairs and others in Ref Lawyers for Human Rights versus Minister of Home Affairs and others. The Minister and the Director General will pay the personal cost as ordered by the court. This will happen as soon as the text bill of court is presented by lawyers for human rights, reads part of the statement. The statement goes on to say that the minister welcomes the finding by the Constitutional Court of the fact that he was in the dark about the litigation and the short manner in which it was conducted by the officials and legal representatives. The minister has never come across a situation in which officials and legal representatives decide to go to court, to court in his name without his knowledge and any consultation with him. As the court found, these were indeed lapses of extraordinary range and gravity. Having said that, the minister accepts that he is ultimately responsible for the fulfillment of the objectives of the Department of Home Affairs and for the actions of failures of all officials sending, serving under him. He further accepts that he has a higher duty to ensure that the court orders are complied with and that officials under him do not repeat a committee of errors and gross negligence seen in this case. The minister will take steps, as he has done before, to ensure effective supervisory role. The judgment put paid to an erroneous belief that the executive authority should play no role in everyday management of the affairs of the department. To this end, corrective measures will be taken against all officials involved in this saga. The minister fully endorses the finding of the court regarding the conduct of the former legal representatives led by Mr. Mike Pofilatos SC. They failed in their professional duties by proceeding with litigation without the minister's knowledge. The minister, in fulfillment of his constitutional responsibilities, will ensure that the fees in the amount of 222,862 rand. 60 paid to Mr. Pofilatos SC are recovered without any further delay. The minister has already prepared the Immigration Amendment Bill dealing with Section, 60, section 34 amendments and is en route to cabinet. So that is the uh, press statement or the statement released by Tabo Mohola, uh, the spokesperson for the Minister of Home Affairs. So the minister has accepted uh, that he's going to pay from his own pocket and the Director General will do the same, but he's also uh, threatened action against those uh, in his legal team. Uh, he has already fired members of his legal team, but he also says that he's going to, he's, that where, uh, heads are going to roll in as far as other officials who are found to have done a short job in this matter are concerned. So we expect a lot to happen at the Department of Home Affairs, but the minister is going to pay the electorals uh, part of their fees, uh, or part of their legal fees as soon as they finished him or his department with the amount, and then he's going to pay that. But he's also uh, promised that uh, he has already prepared the Immigration Amendment Bill, uh, which, is, which deals with Section 34 amendments, which he says is en route to cabinet. So you'll remember that uh, in his judgment, the Constitutional Court ordered that Parliament should enact the remedial legislation within 12 months, uh, having made similar orders as it did in 2017 regarding the detention of those uh, people were accused of being in South Africa illegally, including court oversight into the extent uh, of the detention. 
uh, in his ruling, the Constitutional Court had uh, stated that pending the changes to the immigration legislation uh, in the areas uh, in question, uh, any person arrested on charges of being illegally in South Africa must be brought before a court within a certain time frame for an inquiry into whether the detention was in the interest of justice. Uh, that is because a number of people uh, were simply being released when they should have been deported while others were being detained for months uh, in extra judicial detentions. So thank you very much. This is what we had as an update for you on this matter. Only see the son of Nube. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. Thank you.